All right, you guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this product photo shot from Tom Ford with the help of Adobe Illustrator, Firefly and Photoshop. So as you can see at the right side, we got the original shot. You can see it's a nice composition in between the perfume, the oranges, and as you can see, we got some ginger going on. Now, I assume that the perfume is mixed with ginger and orange to create a unique perfume. And as you can see, the left one is done by myself. And instead of ginger, I mixed it with some wood. Now, of course, I should have done it with ginger, but I was too lazy. And the second thing I probably should have done with some special wood, like the oud wood, which is a really expensive wood from which they make perfumes so I pretty much broke all the rules and I went freestyle and this is what I'm gonna do again so we're gonna start in Illustrator first and I gotta go and swap this so the fill is gonna be black click on the stroke click on the non click on the fill so it's gonna be on the top let's select the rectangle create a rectangle press and hold alt to drag it up and this is gonna be the curvy part of the perfume. Now I gotta go and select the direct selection tool, select these two top anchor points. Now let's go to the circle right here, press and hold Alt, click on it. And as you can see at the arrow, it is going to change the curvature profile. So we want the second one, and I gotta press and hold Alt like that and just drag it and check that out. Great. Now I gotta go and select this rectangle again, press and hold Alt, drag it upwards. And I gotta press and hold Alt, narrow it down make it lower. I gotta select these, press and hold Alt, drag it upwards, press and hold Shift, rotate upside down, snap it, and I gotta select this long one. There you go. Now the second important thing we're gonna need to do is separate the colors, so it's gonna create some contrast. I'm gonna select these, press Control G, let's go to the colors and select the color for it. And let's also select the rectangle and create a label right here. From here, we're gonna make the oranges. Let's select the circle, press and hold Shift plus Alt to create a circle like that. Select the direct selection tool. I'm gonna to click on this anchor point at the circle, press on delete. Let's go to the properties, click on join. And this way you can create your own composition however you like. I also gonna go and draw those branches. Let's select the pencil. And all you need to do is just draw some branches however you like. You can go freestyle with it, recolor it and also make sure to go to view and click on trim view so this way you can see how the elements are going to look inside of the artboard this is how the final composition looks like export as a jpeg first let's go to the aspect ratio i'm going to change it to square content type photo reference image we're going to upload the image select open click on continue let's increase the strength all the way to 100 scroll down select hyper realistic scroll down more go to lighting i'm gonna go with studio light and go to the prompt and type in matte black perfume bottle floating decorated with bright orange fruit slices and dark rough wood floating isolated on white background let's go and click on try prompt as you can see, it came out a transparent bottle. And then I did figure out what happened. I wrote back instead of black. Go black, enter, fingers crossed. And here we go. I kind of like this. I'm going to go to the edit, use a style reference. I'm also going to download it. And this way I can generate more of that. Oh, wow. And check this out. Now, I think it made an even better one. This one is with a gold label. I think this one is the best. Let's go to Photoshop. Let's go and select the type tool. I got to type in the name Panther. Press Ctrl T, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it up and position it. I'm going to go and double click on the text layer, decrease the fill opacity. And what I did is edit some inner shadow with some dark brown color, angle on 30, a distance 1 size 7. I also added some color overlay and here you can increase or decrease the opacity to make it look a little bit more transparent if it's needed. Let's go and add some outer glow. Now this one is white, linear dodge add, opacity 25, size 10. And then because it is a little bit too strong I also added a drop shadow and here you can adjust it or go to outer glow and decrease the opacity a little bit more. There it is. Click OK. And this is how I made this Tom Ford perfume bottle mock-up here in Illustrator, Adobe Firefly and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.